The first financial bubble in history was the Dutch tulip mania of the 1600s, which gave rise to the phrase, biggest fool's investment. At the time, tulip bulbs became highly coveted status symbols, with prices rising to astronomical levels that far exceeded intrinsic value. At the height of Dutch tulip mania, a single bulb of the rare Semper Augustus tulip was reportedly sold for 6,000 guilders in 1637. This would be equivalent to roughly $300,000 in today's dollars. To put this price in perspective, a skilled craftsman's annual wages were around 150 to 300 guilders. That's equivalent to about $7,500 to $15,000 in today's money. 100 guilders would buy a ton of butter. That's about $5,000 for a ton of butter today. Nice houses in Amsterdam sold for 3,000 to 4,000 guilders back then. In modern dollars, that's around $150,000 to $200,000. So in dollar terms, people were paying the equivalent of around $300,000 for a single tulip bulb in the mania. That's about 20 times the average annual salary, 60 times the price of butter, and the same cost as a nice house. People became convinced prices would keep rising, leading them to borrow heavily to speculate, but the bubble inevitably burst, leaving many with crippling debts. This frenzy is considered one of the first examples of herd mentality and emotion fueling an unsustainable bubble. Even expert traders got caught up in the mania despite the obvious disconnect between tulip bulb prices and reality. The lure of huge returns leads many investors to invest in bubbles. When promised riches are tied to excessive speculation, we may be falling into the trap of the biggest fool's investment. A fool's investment refers to when speculative market frenzies or bubbles emerge, leading even rational investors to pour money into assets trading at irrationally inflated prices. The rapid emergence of internet-based companies led to one of the biggest speculative stock market bubbles in modern history, the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s and early 2000s. Between 1995 and 2000, the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite Index shot up over 400% as investors poured money into internet startups, many of which had unproven business models and shaky fundamentals. High-profile startups like Pets.com and Webvan had enormous market valuations in the billions of dollars despite little to no revenue. Venture capitalists funded an explosion of dot-com companies, caught up in the irrational exuberance and FOMO. Of course, this disconnect between stock prices and underlying value couldn't last forever. The bubble peaked in March 2000 when the Nasdaq hit over 5,000, then came crashing down over the next 30 months, sinking to around 1,100. Tens of billions in paper wealth evaporated almost overnight as stock prices collapsed. High flyers like Pets.com, Webvan, and Boo.com went bust. Even titans like Yahoo and Cisco lost over 80% of their swollen bubble value. The dot-com bubble highlights why avoiding the pitfalls of the biggest fool's investment and resisting the urge to jump on bandwagons is so important for investors. Fundamentals eventually matter, even in the most hyped-up markets. The idea is that buying into the hype at inflated prices only makes sense if you believe an even bigger fool will buy from you later at an even higher price. Of course, bubbles eventually pop when demand plummets and sentiment turns, leaving the last investors holding the bag as the biggest fools. Before we proceed, here's a quick question to consider. Do you think investors today are better at spotting speculative bubbles? Or are we doomed to repeat past mistakes? Curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Some characteristic signs of a fool's investment are assets detached from intrinsic value and trading at prices beyond what makes rational sense. FOMO, or fear of missing out, then takes over as everyone rushes to get in on the action, further inflating the bubble. In addition to the tulip bubble and dot-com boom and bust, examples include the US housing bubble in the mid-2000s that eventually crashed the market and contributed to the Great Recession.
In recent times, another fool's investment bubble investors should be wary of is hedge fund investments. Hedge funds are private investment funds that pool money from wealthy individuals and institutions like pensions or endowments. They use alternative strategies like short selling, leverage, and derivatives to pursue big gains in both rising and falling markets. This promise of outsized returns entices investors. Just thinking about it makes me enticed. But hedge funds often play a central role in inflating speculative bubbles driven by greed rather than fundamentals. The hefty performance fees motivate managers to take on risks chasing temporary bubble gains. Leverage further amplifies their bets on overvalued assets, and hurting behavior causes funds to pile into the same crowded trades. Many hedge funds have blown up after manias popped. Long-term capital management bet heavily on bond spreads in the 1990s before Russia's debt crisis sparked the 1998 meltdown. Numerous funds shorted subprime mortgages ahead of the 2008 financial crisis, only to get crushed when the bubble burst. And cryptocurrency hedge funds spiked on the 2017 Bitcoin bubble and collapsed when it popped. Often the biggest fools left holding the bag are the hedge fund investors, not the managers. The managers already collected large performance fees based on speculative gains that evaporated after the bubble peaked. The key takeaway is that even savvy investors can get sucked into speculative bubbles driven more by greed and hype rather than a sober analysis of fundamentals. Recognizing and resisting the urge to jump on every bandwagon is critical to avoiding massive losses when the music eventually stops. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and consider watching our other videos right here.